This one is from David. It goes to Greg. He says, I know it's CD night, but just a tease on the Jet Blaster would be great. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I touched on it already tonight, but uh, so I, I don't think I'll say too much more. But if you know, want to see my full review, I put that out this morning on YouTube or my YouTube channel, Green Hulk Garage, and my written review on our Green Hulk Dynamic Forum. So um, all of my opinions and thoughts on this ski, you can find that there. Okay. And you did say that you are uh, really much a fan of the new Jet Blasters. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's uh, I think it's definitely an improvement. You know, my only real complaint about the old EX Jet Blaster was it, it cavitated so darn bad. You couldn't get it to come out and, uh, you know, hook up real well, do a wheelie. But the new one, they revised the pump. It doesn't cavitate at all. So, I mean, it just stands right up. If you wanted to jump out the water, it jumps out the water. So that alone, it was certainly a, a step above the outgoing EX. And, uh, but while we're on the subject, I did see a comment about the jet blaster being slower. Now, you know, right. it's not slower. So it'll, I was told by Yamaha, it'll run on flat water, perfect conditions, about 58 miles an hour. Uh, but of course, I got 53 out of it in Boston Harbor, where it was rough to the point to where every 30 feet the pump's coming unhooked. So it's not staying hooked up to build thrust. And the only other guy that was on it in flat water weighed 300 something pounds, had the trim all the way down and was sitting straight up on the seat and couldn't get over 50. So, right. you know, we never, no one's really had a, a good example to show top speed for him yet. Yeah, that uh, it, it's unfortunate. But again, that's politics about, you know, who gets their hands on the units first. And a lot of times, you know, I, it could have been me getting on the unit first. And if I got something wrong, that information spreads like wildfire. And he goes, well, yeah. Kevin said blank, blank, blank. And it turns out that my information was wrong. It takes a long time for that to be corrected. And unfortunately, the damage was done way before you got to write it, way before any of us got to even write about it was the review was already out there and he's doing 50 miles an hour off of the dashboard with no gps no real yeah. measuring to speak yeah, of and, and weighed yeah. as much as two average size people yeah and he's yeah. a big guy and he's sitting very erect in the seat which makes him just a airfoil right and you're kind of like, uh, I don't know if that's the most yeah. optimal way to get your speed. So. Right. So, I mean, I've been seeing a, a lot of people talking about the new jet blasters being slower, primarily because of that. But uh, I, I could promise you it's not slower than the outgoing EX. Right. Yeah. yeah, I think that uh, I think that did more harm than good. And there were some other things that he got really wrong in – uh, he he got some information wrong about the hall, and he got a lot of, uh, and and that's fine. I'm pretty sure they gave him a post-it sure note with some notes on it, and he yeah. had to make to make a 20 minute video out of whatever they gave him. I yeah. I only say that because it's happened to me. So yeah, yeah it's happened to me too. You know, right. last year they, they got one detail wrong on the 1.9 that really you know, made me look dumb. But you uh, know. We, yeah, you, you got to go off of what they give you. And, you know, it's not always 100% accurate. There are miscommunication here and there. It happens. Right. All right. We got hey, uh, one. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dan. Go, go ahead. In regards to the, oh, I know when our little group text me, you and Greg, design wise of the Jet Blaster, any comments on the mold design? If it has anything to do with the old GPs or the 1200s back in the days? Any? Oh, no, no it's, it's definitely different. So uh, like I looked at them side by side. The the GP 1300R or 1200R hull, it's very unique. You know, it's uh, like it's got no solid chine on the outside. It's rounded in the edges. It's got a, a the bow of it comes to a point, right? And it gets, comes to a point to a certain part back and then in front of the intake grate, it's completely flat and goes up into the intake grate. Yeah, uh, right. 
Yeah, it's the thirteen hundred dollar hull is very different. You just, okay. you know, I just spent enough time underneath one uh, working on them to to know that. But uh, okay. yeah, I wish it was. You know, oh boy, yeah, yeah. it's carriage. Yeah, yeah. 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 but. Uh, someone had said so in the comments when I was going over the Yamaha stuff that they're like, it looks a lot like the, the 1300 R. And I said, right. if that was the case, we've got ourselves a sleeper. You yeah. Know? No, it, it is very different. Okay. Interesting. It's, uh, I would consider it, you know, a, a shrunken down GP 1800 R, you know, okay. But, okay. you know, similar, more similar to the 1800 R, just smaller, which isn't a bad thing, you know, no, the, no. the hull performs great. You know, that's my video, I don't know if anyone or any of y'all saw it today, but, you know, I'm tracking through like one foot chop around there. The skis coming unhooked with staying straight as an arrow and wide open. You know, I'm not fighting the bars to keep it going where I want. Uh, it turns great. Uh, I found that, you, you know, you really got to lean it over to turn it wide open throttle. But uh, as far as handling and, and straight line tracking, like, the hull really does perform for a ski of its size. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to playlists, and then click on live sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.